This September 16th, I'll have been on the road for six years. I've lived in two vans and two different RVs, and I got plans coming up in the future. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Hey, y'all. My name's Eric. I live in the Pacific Northwest. I have some big travel plans coming up in January. I'm going to be traveling from here, Washington State, down to Southern California to Slab City, the infamous last free place on Earth, or last free place in America, at least. Um, a lot of snowbirds go down there to camp free on an abandoned government land, and I'm going to be down there trying that out. It feels like people a lot these days are always working for the future instead of the present. A lot of people ask me why it is that I chose to live in a van. What it comes down to is my entire life, all the things that I've done, the only times that I've been like truly happy, like really enjoying myself, is when I've been out traveling. I just haven't seen where I could really afford to go and travel like I wanted to. So gay. <laughs> no homo, no homo. I hope that didn't. Freedom! That just happened. Yeah, that retarded line was from me. I'm over here, I'm in the slabs, and I stayed last night. This was my little spot where I was camped out. If you see the van here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm over here at Mike's camp where uh, Mike and I decided to party last night. And uh, if you notice here, this is the aftermath. So if there's anybody that needs aluminum uh, and, and likes to recycle, there's probably a good chunk of money over here, guys. You know, I, I think we might be able to build a 747 Can I out of this. Something? Yeah. Go, Get Jim. So let me talk about the exact solar panel kit that we are hoping to purchase with your help. So the package is a 120 watt solar system that comes with two folding panels so that it can be stored into a side of an apartment while we're moving. It also comes with the charge controller and like I said, 16 feet of wire that you can hardwire right into the battery. It's sold by solardeals.com and it has a price tag of $627. An online funding campaign for portable solar power in my RV and asked for the public's help for contributions. And all of those options come with a few perks from me and Jax. And all of those options come with a few perks from me and Jax. I'm going to put up a new PayPal link. It'll be on this. It'll also be uh, in the discussion section of my channel. And I think I'm gonna try to see if I can put a button on there too for the PayPal. But what I need you to do to, for you to get a Reduce World Sucks sticker is please make a donation and please have it be enough so that there's still some money there after the shipping cost to ship the sticker out to you. Again, I just really appreciate um, the donations that I've gotten so far. I, uh, there's so many little things I gotta get just to keep going, you know? And, uh, yeah, sometimes living in a van is, is rough, but hating on somebody for, for, you know, trying to get some money <laughs> when they're living in a van already. Freedom! Got 60 bucks. Let's go find a hooker. See my girlfriend or I want to get back on the road and I want to show you guys these places I'm gonna need your support to do it it'll be about 600 bucks in gas each way so that's 1200 uh, just three days time I ended up getting fired um, that was that so it's always sucks you know so never is fun to get fired for whatever reason kind of asked like for more of a reason than that but never really got a response like the guy that kind of gave me the referral he told me he didn't even know why I'd gotten fired they'd never even told him and he was like the kitchen manager there so either I am way too slow and I suck in the kitchen since I haven't done that since high school or they were just too busy. Savings by the end of June. 
Well, bad news is it doesn't look that way. We did get offered like right away. We could have gone to an RV on site gate paying 175 a day for the two of us for 24 hours. I'm just not willing to work for that, I decided. And sick of corporate America too, to be, to be completely honest. Just the dishonesty, the less than the hard working at a lot of times that people are, the employer demands on your hours and your time. Um, Freedom! Earnings that I had over the weeks, you know, for each one of my weeks that came the total that added up to the 40 hours that I had worked. If we just really roughly take that 732 I made and we subtract out 326, that's $406 in my pocket. And that was my actual earnings after every expense you could possibly come up with. So what I want to tell you, Marshall, is I believe in you, buddy. What it took for you to cross the border, what was that, today or yesterday? It was yesterday. Yesterday. What you had to do to cross from the excited states of America into the Canada, the Great White North. So Now I'm obviously getting sick while I'm just sitting here doing nothing. There's something going on up here and I don't know what. Oh, it's just everything. I'm, I just, I can't take it anymore! Man. Um. Alright, so. I got like two hours of me trying to make videos and then just getting too emotional. It's really getting old. Okay. There for a second. I'm 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 not as strong as many of you think I am. I'm really not. And I'm I'm not afraid to say that. I'm just uh I wasn't emotionally uh equipped to be prepared for something like losing my RV, well my home. You know, it's kinda like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Fool me three times, shame on me. I hope you're watching this and I hope you think it's real funny to treat people like that. I hope I hope I gave you some enjoyment in your life. If that's all you got is to mess with people like that, then I hope I gave you some joy. I should hate you right now, but these people are ridiculous. I on the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rains. The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and a sky with no clouds. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of desert on a horse with no name it felt good. Um, and before they know it their whole life passes by and a lot of them didn't do the things that they wanted to do in their lifetime just do five days and then on Friday take that paycheck and use that four or five hundred bucks to go take five weeks off and just go traveling um, I also do in my storage, I have a metal detector, I have a gold panning kit for down the river for the summer, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you some of those videos when it gets nicer out, but... So yeah, this is my little mobile custom recording studio in my RV. I'm sure it's pretty unique. It's probably not what any of you were expecting, but you wanted to know how I do it, and this is how I do it. Other people make money other ways. This just happens to be how I do it. So anyway, talk to you guys later.